Hi and welcome to GTAC Tech Tube. This video will show you how to create, trigger, and acknowledge an alarm in Omnicast. First of all, open the Omnicast config tool and log in as an Omnicast administrator. Then click on logical view and go to alarm management. Click on the plus sign at the bottom left of the screen and select alarm. Then select the recipients of the alarm. In this example, I want the administrators and the tech support members to receive the alarm. Please note you can also select a user to be a recipient instead of a user group. Then click OK. Give it a name and press enter. If you go under properties, you can modify many properties that are all described in the Omnicast administrator guide. Then if you click on cameras, you can add cameras to the alarm by clicking on the plus sign at the bottom and selecting the camera. You can repeat the step to add more cameras to the alarm. Basically, the cameras you add to this alarm will be displayed in the live viewer whenever the alarm is triggered. Then hit apply. On the recipients, you can notice the recipients you selected when you first created the alarm. You can also change the broadcast option. Under acknowledgments, you can change the accepted acknowledgement types and under actions, you can create actions. These are also described in the Omnicast Administrator Guide. Then click on Alarm Management and go to Physical View. Expand the Gateway, the Archiver, and select a unit you want to create an event for. In this case, it's the unit I associated to my alarm. Click on the unit and go to Actions. Click on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and select an event type. For this example, I'll select Live Bookmark Added. Select the action type, which in this case will be Trigger Alarm, because we want to test the alarm we just created. Give it a description, a generic schedule, and hit OK. Then hit Apply. What this does is that every time a Live Bookmark is added to this specific unit, the alarm we created, GTAC Tech Tube, will be triggered. You should also note that in this example, I created an event for the unit. However, different events are available for different entities, such as the gateway and the archiver. Then click on the live viewer shortcut located next to the orange text box to open the live viewer. This will automatically log you in with the same user you were logged in as in the config tool. View the unit you created an event for in a tile by double clicking on it. The next step is to add a bookmark. So click on the add a bookmark icon, enter a text and hit OK. You can notice that the alarm has been triggered. Over the tile you can notice the alarm icon with the number 1 under it. This represents one alarm that has not been acknowledged. In the bottom pane you can also notice the name of the alarm that's been triggered. You can acknowledge the alarm by clicking on the alarm in the bottom pane then the green check mark. You can notice that we did trigger the alarm but that the unit link to the alarm was not displayed in a tile. To do so you can right click on a tile, select arm. What this will do is that every time an alarm is triggered the unit will be displayed in the arm tile only. So if we add a new bookmark again then hit OK. This will trigger the alarm which will be displayed in the tile previously armed. You can also acknowledge it the same way by clicking on the alarm in the bottom pane and the green check mark. Another way to trigger alarms is by clicking on the tools in the toolbar and alarm then trigger alarm. You can select the alarm you want, put a description and hit OK. This will also display the unit in the arm tile. Another way to acknowledge an alarm is by clicking on the green check mark inside the arm tile. Please note that there are many other events that can trigger an alarm in Omnicast. This video only showed one example. Thank you for watching this video and for more information please consult the Omnicast Administrator Guide.